Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So in regards of the signals that I have sent last Saturday, uh, now it's the time to follow up with these signals and see what happened in the market during these past two days. Now, of course, as we can see, <clears throat> uh, as, the, uh, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, the first thing we can notice on the Euro USD that it has went all the way to the tech profit level immediately without actually triggering our buy level. Therefore, the signal is no longer valid and we now need to delete the signal. So let me just get rid of the signal and let's see what we can do next with the Euro USD. Actually, from my point of view, the dollar, the dollar index itself is getting weaker and I think it's going on a bearish momentum and therefore the Euro USD is still good, is still good for the buy. Let me show you something. If we go to the weekly candles. Now, let me just stop this one. So now the first thing we can notice on the Euro USD that is moving actually in a very strong bullish momentum. So it's going in upper trend. And what we can see right here that we had a small tiny previous support level and right now the Euro USD is facing the same level of that previous support. Um, we already had one reversal happen right here, as we can see. Right here. These, remember guys, we are on the weekly candle. So we already have re the reversal happened one time only and I don't see any price action right here on the weekly candles indicating a bearish reversal at all. Nothing. And I believe uh, this candle is still going to uh, finish as, as a bullish candle. And therefore, I think the Euro USD is actually going to continue the rise, especially seeing that we had right here a previous resistance right here. That resistance has already been broken out from by this uh, bullish breakout candle and has already been retested and a new support was born. So therefore, going to the daily candles now, we can notice the strong bullish momentum. And again, on daily candles, I don't see any a price action indicating a bearish reversal. All in all, I think the Euro USD is actually going to continue the rise. And now it's a matter of where we can start actually buying the pair again. Now, we can expect from the Euro USD for today, actually on Wednesday, to make a small pullback just to retest the, that support level right here on 1.2125. And since we have already have here a support number one, we can start again buying the pair at the support number two. So therefore, that being said, uh, the signal for the midweek analysis video is actually going to be right here to start again buying the Euro USD. Uh, sorry, shit, 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 sorry, 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 my friends. All right, so buy at the level 1.2065. And of course, the stop loss is going to, uh, not the stop loss, I mean the, the edge of the safe zone. It should actually, it should be right here at that previous support level. So 55 pips, which is fair enough. Let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone, just like that. Right now for the target, let's just uh, be more realistic and go back to the weekly candles again. And let's look at the nearest uh, resistance candle. Remember guys, I'm analyzing now the weekly candles. So th each candle represents a support and, and resistance by itself for example this candle right here it has a previous support and right here it has a resistance this candle right here it has a support and it has a resistance as i said before the, the bigger the time frame the more realistic di direction of the market you're getting but also you have to remember that each candle actually represents its own support and resistance now i can see that the nearest resistance i have from my uh, buying entry is this candle right here so therefore, this little guy is going to be actually our target. And this time, the target is going to be, uh, I think, 90 pips only. I think about 88 pips. That's fair enough. So the take profit level is going to be 1.2915. There goes your signal for the midweek, uh, midweek video. And I really hope we will still continue making profits with the Euro USD. Now let's look at the pound USD. So for the pound USD, actually, uh, this, the, the market actually has went all the way to the other edge of the safe zone. Um, those who are following me for a long time, they know already the, the rules that we don't close the trade at the edge of the safe zone. This is, guys, not a stop loss. That is not a stop loss. That's only a stop loss only if we see a bearish breakout happening 
from that market uh, from that level sorry however um as following my rules i cannot consider the signal has failed however actually we are just uh, have to be realistic and i think uh, the 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 market didn't really respect that previous support as expected we can see that the market actually has reversed right here on support number two however eventually it went down all the way to that previous resistance as i predicted and it reversed exactly from that point and as we can see right now the pound usd is actually going in the right direction so i think the signal for the pound usd is going to remain the same and if i'm not mistaken um the pound usd right now after seeing this strong uh, bullish momentum is actually uh, uh, um, uh, relying on actually depending on that previous support right here and this one here and here so as we can see right now the pair is actually depending on a strong support zone and seems like with the strong bullish momentum as i said before uh the market seems like and sorry with the weakness of the dollar as well the market seems like it's going to continue the rise so therefore uh it's now the right time to start again buying the pound usd and if you didn't buy it you can go ahead and buy it right now AUD USD, uh, nothing is going to be changed about the signal. It's going perfect, perfectly fine. And right now it's going in actually, uh, so far it went in 39 pips of profit. And in total it went for 54 pips of profit. And I think it's going to uh, go all the way to the tech profit level. So therefore, I think you guys can keep the trade running if you have opened it. Uh, but in case you didn't open the trade, then... Uh, let me tell you, if you didn't open the trade yet and you are still willing to take some profits from the AUD USD, uh, let me tell you exactly where we can start again. Actually, I didn't prepare for this before recording, so I just need to be uh, careful. Exactly, it's level 50. So again, you, you can start again buying if you want. Buy again. That's not buy again. Let's <laughs> buy again at the level 0 0.75908 if in case only you didn't uh, enter the trade uh, sadly the stop loss it, or the edge of the safe zone has to be the same however I really don't think it's gonna reach that level if, if I'm not mistaken in worst cases I think the AUD USD if it falls below the entry level it's gonna wait, go all the way to uh, create a support number two from this uh, first support right here however just to be safe of course and just to be realistic you can set your stop loss to be about 50 pips and that should be fair enough usd cad uh, regarding usd cad actually it has been uh, triggered perfectly fine as we can see look at that that that's amazing guys i'm not just showing off I'm, i mean i'm just very proud of my work i don't really mean to show off or something but i'm just happy how accurate my signal was and thankfully hopefully every week is going to be like that anyway uh, for the AUD, for, sorry for the USD CAD, as I said, the signal was very uh, perfect, and it has been triggered exactly at the sell point, and it went all the way, uh, making 83 pips of profit. Right now, it has reversed and making uh, 49 pips of profit. Uh, USD CAD actually is still gonna be re uh, still gonna be the same, and I believe it's gonna continue the fall all the way. Seems like it's going to continue falling to hit that support level on 1.27235. As I said before, we had right here the resistance trend line and the USD CAD. I think it has to go down again, supported by the strength of the uh, downtrend and the bearish momentum. It's going to go all the way down to retest that broken resistance trend line and to create a support trend line. If in case you want to start again uh, buying the USD CAD or in, in case you have missed entering this trade, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, right here is going to be the best moment to start again shorting the pair. So therefore, USD CAD can be good to sell again at the level 1.28260, I would say. As I said before, because right here we had a previous resistance and seems like actually, I think by the time I am uploading this video, the USD CAD is already going to reach that level. And again, we can start shorting the pair. However, um, all in all, the USD CAD is good for the short. And I hope you guys have entered the signal uh, at the opening time of Monday. USD GPY. USD GPY, as you can see, has been triggered perfectly fine. Uh, the pair has went in... 
10 pips like only against our trade and then it went all the way in 37 pips of profit and right now it has went all the way again retesting that support level again i believe the usdgby is gonna hold the position of the buy and i think it's still gonna be good for uh, the buy again so far i think the usdgby is moving in a bullish momentum like that as we can see and it seems like it's respecting the trend and i think it's gonna eventually continue the rise i don't want to let this candle here to trick me this candle right here um actually if we look at the four, four hour time frame this usually this this bearish breakout candle usually indicates a continuation so because right here we had a previous support so we can expect from the usdgpy after the breakout uh, to continue the fall however I really don't think that the pair gonna be able to break out for a long time. I think uh, the USDGPY is gonna be ranging inside the safe zone, but eventually it's gonna continue the rise. Because as I said before, we are always analyzing on the bigger time frame. And this is the four hour time frame. If we go to the daily time frame, however, we can see right here that we had this uh, price action here. And as I said before, it always indicates usually when we are seeing it on a strong support level, a bullish uh, reversal and that is exactly what happened as we can see the market is still moving as a bullish uh, uh, in a bullish direction and i believe it's going to continue this way uh, eventually until it hit that resistance trend line therefore uh, as i said before usd gpy signal remains the same now looking at the usd chf usd chf actually went in the right direction sadly it has not uh, triggered the sell area uh, it, it reversed actually 20 pips before triggering our uh, sell level. So now what next with the USDCHF? First of all, let's get rid of all the pre uh, previous signal. Now the USDCHF actually is going to continue the fall. As uh, I'm expecting, the USDCHF actually going to fall eventually to hit the support level right here exactly at 0 0.87382. So it's going to fall for another 106 pips. So therefore, we need to look at, again, the best level to start shorting the USD CHF. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, actually, we can start short the USD CHF very soon. Actually, we can start shorting the pair right here. Let me just be make it accurate as much as possible. Mm, go back to the one hour time frame. Um, yes perfect let me see how many pips it has to reverse five pips only let's, let's be more realistic guys uh some of the people that might think that's what what the hell is Salah doing he's just picking the random <laughs> he's just picking the levels uh, randomly Go, guys no that's not the case i know what i'm doing trust me in my mind i'm imagining the fibonacci retracements for example really i i swear to god i swear i didn't plan this i didn't uh, test this before recording for example my eyes actually looking right here at this pattern and my eyes actually uh, my, by my naked eyes I'm just trying to imagine Fibonacci 61.8 uh, on it let me just show you uh, from my experience I can tell that this is exactly gonna be Fibonacci 61.8 if I'm not mistaken let me see I hope I'm right I'm hope I hope I'm right I'm hope I oh <laughs> amazing amazing i did it again guys this is perfect i swear i didn't plan this i know no one was no one's gonna believe me i'm very proud of myself and yes that is exactly fibo 61.8 so that is exactly what i was looking for and that's why actually i was planning to tell you that we can expect from the usdc hf to start reversing right here and we can make, expect from it to make a bullish uh, pullback and then after that it's gonna hit the 61.8 fibonacci retracement and after that, we can start shorting the USD CHF again. So therefore, USD CHF is going to be good for the short again as at the level 0 0.88560. I don't like to type 99. All right. And the take profit level, as I said before, is going to be that support level on the weekly candle. We have analyzed it before. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, here. So this is going to be our take profit level. So we can expect from the USDCHF to fall for another 130 pips. I really hope we can make it. 
honestly, I doubt that the pair gonna fall that much this week. I think um, this week actually, ah uh, yeah, because Friday is gonna be the New Year Eve and the market is gonna close on Friday. So Friday, sorry, for Wednesday and Tuesday only, uh, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, I really doubt that this is gonna happen. However, uh, it is what it is. We have to send the signal. Uh, take profit level as at the level 0 0.87382. And for the safe zone this time, let's go back to the signal itself. And the safe zone should be ranging right here above that resistance level. So we can expect, no, actually I can make it a little bit higher. Um, yes, 50 pips should be fine and fair enough so there goes your signal for the ucchf and i really hope we can make some good profits out of it now let's look at the gold the gold has been triggered perfectly fine as we can see right here the reversal was perfect uh oh sorry no way no hold on hold on i'm i'm making a mistake right here because at the opening of monday the market went all the way down uh, all the way up to hit the tech profit level immediately and i have announced that this signal is no longer valid However, the signal was still valid indeed, as we can see. And right here, after that stupid announcement I have made, we can see that the reversal happened exactly, exactly at the same level of 1869, which was amazing level to start buying the gold. And we can see that the pair has went all the way shooting up to the stars and it has already made uh, 218 pips of profit congratulations to anyone who have entered the signal and ignored my advice to cancel it what uh, anyway whatever whatever's happened now let's see let me just cancel the old signal and let's see actually guys again I'm, I'm telling you i'm not showing off i swear i'm just very proud of my work and i wanted to remind everyone that few days ago i mentioned to you that we are approaching the end of 2020 finally and I expected from I expected from the gold to go in a neutral channel because the gold right now actually is not in the best conditions. I mean, yes, the dollar is getting weaker. However, the market right now, the market makers and the investors are very careful right now and they are um, taking the profits from their uh, annual trades. So therefore, actually, the gold, as we can see right now, is very ugly to trade. To be honest, uh, this is this is the kind of market that you want to avoid. This is definitely not the kind of market you want to trade on and most likely uh, the gold actually in general is going to continue to rise. Uh, that's what, what I think. However, uh, just to be safe and just to make sure everyone is going to be safe. Uh, this, as I said before, a very ugly market and we cannot expect anything right now from the gold. Even the fundamental analysis won't work, uh, won't work in this condition. We have to wait to see what will gonna happen. So guys, please stay tuned. I'm gonna update you soon about the gold with a deal of the day video. And I'm gonna tell you what we can do uh, with the gold that time. But right now on this midweek analysis video creation, there is no way to tell what will gonna happen to the gold. And actually there are gonna be a lot of people who can predict what will happen to the gold. But me as Salah Hissam and for, my, for the sake of my followers and to keep their money safe uh, as they have expected from me, I'm going to skip uh, giving the signal for the gold until we have a clear direction of the market, how it's going to go uh, or get out of this neutral channel. Uh, until then, I hope that was informative to you. And first of all, of course, I wanted to wish everyone a very happy new year. And I really hope 2021 is going to be a full of blessing and full of happiness to everyone around here uh, or over the globe and their beloved families. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.